You know the vibes, we got Nisi on the track. Guys, hi, me, from the future. Uh, I'm currently editing, so I took a quick break just to get a swig of something to drink. <sighs> Don't tell my wife I didn't use a cup. So check this out. Just want to explain a little bit something. The crackling, the high pitch that you heard from the RX-7, no bueno, no good. That sound means something's wrong. I noticed the sound something's wrong, park the car. Immediately call Jeff, call Jeff, tell him, I don't think the car's running right. But it's not a huge deal because we're going to figure it out. Jeff has always given me really good support. So this time is no different. So Jeff comes on down. We check a few things. It's overboosting. We want to protect the car from blowing up. Overboosting isn't a great deal, but it's nothing that's too detrimental at the moment. So what you're going to see now is Jeff came over. We recognize that the turbo wasn't ported. I just kind of checked over everything and make sure everything was okay ish all right jeff's here now uh what we found is the turbo wasn't ported we pulled it off anyway i'll take you out there oh i gotta get the tripod Yo, No, the H's are just super smooth. They're okay. just hella smooth. good. Not, yeah. You can actually make it not like that. Yeah, but it's, it's like it's still even on your even on what would be a lower setting, it's still gonna be way smoother than the um Yeah. Actually no, I tried it.
Nope. It's just over. Yeah, you heard it. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say that's definitely better. Oh, nope. <laughs> What, what, what was done? What happened? Broke up a little up top, yeah, but... And first gear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's the theory behind it? Like, what's what's putting you the wastegate... Uh, vacuum up higher. Huh? <laughs> It definitely sounds way raspier right now, which is, is cooler. The other, it was kind of like, ooh, ooh, on the other turbos. This has like, some more oomph up top. problem still was apparent apparently you can see it did get better it did drive better it does sound a lot better um, but he says now he's probably thinking that it's along signs of secondary injectors not working we looked for a boost leak we took the whole front end apart as far as the the charge pipes and everything and we didn't really see anything that was um, indicating a boost leak so Maybe we're going to check out secondary injectors. So that's going to be the end of this vlog. I know it's becoming a saga, but I want everything perfect. I don't want it to be okay. Like the car's pretty quick. It jams. But um, I want to put the best foot forward because when I bring my cars out, I don't want there to be issues when I'm trying to perform at the highest level. I want it to be, whether it's the real car, practice car, or the RX-8. I don't want any struggles. I want no dramas because I already don't have the most powerful cars. I just drive them really fast. So we're going to continue on. I'm going to keep you guys along with me on this process. This is going to be a vlog series as well. And I want you guys to, uh, you know, let me know if you want to see more technical side of this or just me kind of giving you the overall footage and putting it together and then me speaking a little bit about it at the beginning or the end. Let me know. Leave that in the comments. So with this vlog and this experience that you've gained, I'm going to give y'all two and I'm going to catch y'all on another vlog, alright?